Lakshmi Prasad Devkota is a Nepali poet popularly known as Mahakavi that means a great poet was born in the year 1909 he graduated in arts and law from Patna University India his early poems were influenced by the english romantic movement and his later poems have the resonance of a powerful modern voice he is the author of epics short and long poems verse plays etc his best known poems include muna madan which is a folk epic poem shakuntala a classical epic savitri satyavan a verse play so his poetic corpus is vast and it covers wide range of subjects his poems have been published in several volumes and have been translated into many languages devakota's poem the lunatic illustrates the modern expression of the deepest personal feelings of the poet and a surgical exposure of the hollowness of the so called intellectual aspirants of the time in this autobiographical poem the lunatic devakota wears the persona of a madman the poem describes the state of mind of a person who has lost touch with reality and is considered mad by society the speaker in the poem appears to be the one who has been confined to the asylum and it describes his perception of life within the asylum walls the opening line of the poem i am not a human immediately sets apart the speaker from society and he describes himself as an outcast or an alien he expresses a sense of detachment and disconnection from the world around him which suggests a deeper existential crisis the lunatic is an expression of political protest that shows the poet's anger upon the corrupt nature of leaders in a rebellious voice the poet attacks the leaders while depicting the gloom and chaos owing to corrupt practices the speaker also highlights the contrast between his own and others life the use of vivid imagery to describe his lost identity creates an intense melancholic mood that emphasizes the tragic nature of existential crisis experienced by the poet the poem suggests that social norms and conventions have failed the speaker and he has been left to grapple with the circumstances all by himself the poet narrates his accepted state of mind and abnormal behavior by himself wherein he does what a normal person cannot do for example he can see sound and hear the sight and taste the smell he can touch those things the existence of which the people in the world deny he is so imaginative that he can see a flower on the stone and the enchantress of the heaven smiling at him he understands the language of the birds and talks to them the third stanza shows how sensitive nature and a heart filled with compassion he has he contrasts his situation with that of the addressees that is the other members who are perceived to be intellectuals in the society the addressees or the addressee is the one who uses his brains and senses to find out the harsh reality but the speaker uses his sixth sense and finds out what the heart thinks to be correct dreams and imagination are meaningful to him the fourth stanza tells how the speaker's 
hyper sensitivity led people to have a wrong impression of him when he watched the mystery of the heaven in cold winter night when he was sad at the death of people and the old age of a fair lady people called him mad when he would be happy hearing the cuckoo's song and uncomfortable by the dead silence they would think that he had gone mad they would punish him saying that he should be admitted to a mental hospital even his friends would not regard him as a normal person in the next stanza the persona has upset the accepted values he does not appreciate those things which the world praises highly what the aristocrats drink is the blood of the poor people due to lack of affection prostitutes are no better than dead bodies because of high ambition the king and the emperor are no better than the poor the common men are far better than the highly learned ones the best place in the world has turned into the worst place for the speaker so the world calls him mentally deranged in the sixth stanza the speaker revolts against the society which is being led by the power mongering leaders finally he criticizes in a very strong voice the flatterers because they have deprived people of their rights and they have underlined the false actions do poor people accept their falsity as good action and then the speaker gets so angry because he thinks these haters must be punished the persona of the lunatic in this poem attacks all the ugliness and wants to bring a complete overhaul change reformation in the society the poet used the contrast between the world of the sane man and that of the lunatic the lunatic perceives what the sane man can't the worldly people use brains but he uses heart the poet's lunatic persona thinks that people cram their brains with worldly facts and figures and claim themselves to be knowledgeable the value of materialistic things such as wine prostitutes power etc and they never appreciate the tender human nature or humanity they value the transitory things and disregard the really invaluable and intangible things the stupidity makes the speaker rebel against them by using the technique of contrast the poet brings out the irony of the poem the poet wants to say that the worldly people are insensitive and cruel and they perceive things from their self-centric attitude the phrase the iconoclast of ugliness in the poem refers to the world led by the blind people the insensitive leaders are exploiting the innocence gullible nature of people they are persuading people to accept what is unacceptable the speaker in the poem cannot tolerate this kind of shrewdness so he wants to bring about a change and he wants to turn around the conventional values which have helped the dictators to exploit the common people in this sense the speaker is the iconoclast of ugliness a persona is an invented person in this poem he or she may not be the author himself or herself to express the inner feelings or emotions of that persona the poet has taken the persona of a lunatic in this poem so in conclusion the poem lunatic depicts the emotional and psychological state of a person who is considered by society to be mad the poem is a powerful commentary on the stigmatization of mental illness or it also portrays the ironic existential crisis where the common and the normal people are treated as abnormal